introduce myself. My name is Mrs. Elizabeth Samsedi. Thank you. Uh, I am from Edo State. It's Pure Heart Family Development Foundation. Just like you had family development, right? Already that's self-explanatory, isn't it? So family that the development of what? A family. Like you know, everybody belongs to a family. I belong to a family. You belong to families, right? Everybody uh, has uh, a foundation, a family foundation and family origin. Wherever it is that we become in the next 5, 10, 20 years. We came from somewhere and we are taught never to forget our roots. Is that right? Yes, I know you are not hearing that for the first time. So we are bent on uh, making sure that the values that we have been taught, okay, from home, as we grow and become prosperous, we become doctors, we become lawyers, we become stars, superstars, that we don't forget our roots where we are coming from. That the values, the morals, that, that our parents, and even school here. Yeah. I know the school here have been doing a great job teaching you. And most of the things we are going to tell you today, I know that they are not going to be strange. They are not the things that you have been hearing for the first time. Okay? So it's just like a, a reminder, right? A reminder for you to be focused and dedicated to whatever it is you inspire to be. And you know how it is. When we talk of a family, we cannot talk about a family without a girl child, right? Without a woman and without a mother. Isn't that right? So, I you know the vital role, the key role that a mother plays in a family. It is actually the mother that makes a house a home and makes turns it into a family. Is that right? Okay, so that's why we have come to, to talk to you, to sensitize you on how to hold your head up high and dream big and, you know, become whatever it is that you inspire to become. I came with some of my sisters that I'm partnering with this morning. I'm here with her. This is Golu Mato in Obu Kami. She's here. She's here with me at first. This is Mita. Okay, after which, this is Ashley Lori. Picture yourself attending to those customers. I want 
picture yourself in that car. I want you to picture, I want you to picture yourself in that home tree. Great. Yeah, come back to class. So what did you see? Do you have the skill to become that person? 
thing you want to become. So the good thing about self-awareness or self-audit is that it will allow you to know the places where you need help. So if you're not good in running and you want to become an athlete, what do you need to do? You have to get Money efficiently so therefore I need mathematics. You need maths? Yeah. Okay. Um, obviously I need accounting. Yeah, accounting. I need commerce. I need an aspect of um, business administration. Great! I love that. You need to know the things you need to achieve that goal. So the third phase is self-awareness and self-audit. What are the things you don't have now? What are the things you need to become that person you need to become? You need to start getting those things now.
Now, if you leave the regular conventional sanitary part and you wait for long, you're going to smell like rotten fish. Don't you get that smell? The funny smell you think is menstruation. It is not. Menstruation is a natural phenomenon. It's a free flow of blood. But if you mismanage it, you are going to get infected. And infected can come through your products. Now, this is your regular sanitary pads. No particular products. If you use this pad for long, I need you to do something. Tear up this nylon when you wear it for long. You see the discoloration and the smell. Correct the experimental. So you know you're not supposed to wear this. A lot of women in their 20s now go for fibroid surgery because they use wrong products. They now have yeasts. They now have cervical cancer at very tender age. Because you will use your sanitary pad and you do not know the content inside, you don't need to use it for long. I'll take your question. And when you're changing your sanitary pad, do you know you have to wash your hands? Then you now wash up before you wear the second one. Now, when you wash up, some people say you should dip your hands inside and bring out everything. I mean, not during menstruation. Most people will tell you that when you're washing your private parts, you should put your hand inside. But that is wrong because our nails have a lot of bacteria. And the moment you put your hand in your vagina, you will introduce a lot of bacteria into it and then you begin to smell. Then you begin to itch and scratch. It means you have also wear your panties for a very long time. You should wash your pants at night, sun it, and ensure that you do not repeat the same pants, at least not that same thing. So we wash our fingers, we don't dip our fingers in, we don't use scented products. There are some sanitary products you use, and when you wear them, you scent it, isn't it? You feel good, you can perceive it. Those parts are not good. Because naturally, you are supposed to have everything natural that works for you here, your private parts. No soap. Only water, wash before wearing the sanitary pad, wash after wearing the sanitary pad. Do not wear polystyrene panties. You know those panties they call, uh, uh, no, not g string. G string could be cotton. G string is a cotton material. Some of them are. But there are some panties where you won't be able to breathe. They will be so tight. Meanwhile, you're not supposed to wear anything so tight when you are on your menstruation because you put up the bacteria inside because naturally we have bacteria in our vulva now our vulva is the soft part of the vagina now there you have bacteria now those bacteria they have a particular level they should be once they go higher becomes infection once they go lower becomes infected so you have to keep it on the natural base what am I saying in a nutshell? This was informed by passion from four girls that didn't have access. I saw them using tissue paper as sanitary pads. I'm so glad we all have access and agree. But there are some people out there that do not have access to single menstrual hygiene product that she did. Now they used tissue paper and I saw them, I walked up to them and they said, it was a good day to wrap, the paper they used to wrap their food. You know how you wrap your food with newspaper? That's what they strip off for menstruation. Now, some of them use leaves. Some of them use, yes, coal, charcoal. Charcoal. I want to show you how fortunate you are. They put the leaves and they put ash on the leaves. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Just so they can absorb anything in school. I, I saw a girl that wears six skirts. She wears six skirts under the skirt. And for every time you go under the suit, she takes it off, take it off. And if it remains her school uniform, she jumps the fence and leaves the house. Good morning. 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 Good morning.
this place, we are rich like new one piece. Yeah, a lot has been said, like the first speaker said that, God, I have just a minute. She said a lot, and the other auntie said a whole lot. And the topic is, your future is achievable. And anything you have to do in this life, you have to have what? A foundation. Where you are now, the foundation of laziness is. If it was built on the surface, when the wind is blowing, to take it off. So we need to have God as our, side, as our foundation. Whatever you want to do, my biggest, one of my biggest testimony is that I knew God when I was in secondary school. When I was about stepping out, I seen thinking of dating a guy. That was when God arrested me. God just sent one boy by way and said, God said I should tell you that you should give your life to God. And that was my talking point. To this, I do not regret this. You know, if you know God early, it is the best thing that can happen to you. You may think, oh, there's time. When God has a better plan for you. So the best thing you can do to yourself is have God as your foundation. Thank you for granting us audience. Remember that Pure Heart Family Development Foundation has you at heart at all times. This I promise you that this is not the last time you are going to hear from us. Next time we come here talking about something else. Okay? So till then, big uh, hugs to each and every one of you. But, Today is my birthday. Okay, so please, I encourage you to stay behind. You're going to take photographs with me and join me to cut my cake. Yeah.